Hello and welcome to another Euro Truck Simulator video. I knew this one was going to be a disaster even before we'd set off. Yes, this is online so anything can happen here. Um, I've been pulled out of the, the first area with the, the load here. This guy rammed straight into me and I thought he did it on purpose. Turns out he was just a foreign retard who'd forgotten that in the UK we drive on the left hand side but that's all the fun of multiplayer online in Euro Truck Simulator. It's all good. So here's our mission for today, we're going to be heading down to Metz from Dover and we're going to be transporting 13 tons of tractors which we like doing because we love Farming Simulator 2013 or is it 14 or is it 15, it's one of those. So as usual let's get over and just have a quick look at the models that we're going to be transporting across the channel. Very nice, very nice. Um, these models are almost of the quality of Farming Simulator 2013, 14 or 15, you take your pick. Um, yeah, very nice indeed. Uh, I'm actually recording this voiceover after due to a few little crashes online that I didn't want us to... Uh, didn't want you to see. But anyway, as you're about to see in this video, disaster strikes. Always nice to get down to uh, Southampton and Dover and get on the channel tunnel because that area is just really beautifully modelled it's just really really nice to look at and um, I was hoping this guy in front was going to take the tractors as well and we can go down in the convoy but unfortunately not so I shall cut this little bit and we shall get going with tractors down to Cleef or whatever it was Cleef isn't that a funny part? So here we are then, let's get trucking As I mentioned this is online uh, there is no actual cars or other traffic on the road apart from only human players so anybody we see on the road driving is actually a human player and you'll see messages popping up occasionally down at the bottom left this is the admins um, telling you about different internet radios and also about people who get banned and the reason for it and how long they're actually banned there are perma bans, week bans, an hour ban, you name it and as I come up this hill I could have reported this guy, but I thought, you know what, I can't be bothered, I'm just going to enjoy myself. He's actually coming down, not this guy. Evening. Obviously taking the tractors back, the faulty. Um, the slip road, as I'm about to go up on the left, he's actually coming down the wrong way down the slip road. Now, that's a bannable offence. Um, but I, yeah, let's just say I was in a good mood, even though I got my truck slammed a couple of times on here. So as you're about to see a little bit down here as we get around here. Hopefully we're going to see a lot more players up on the road as we're getting into Dover. A lot of people have done the UK, so a lot of drivers are out there doing Europe because the game is absolutely freaking massive. Now at this point I thought we were going to head down to Dover, but it seems we're not heading to London. And I wasn't sure, should I, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's get over here. Get over here and get on trucking down. I think this is the actual road we're about to approach on the left and you'll see him coming down like a tit and uh, if I'd been going any faster I would have actually hit the guy. Now some of these roads really are tight as you're about to see this guy on the right hand side. He takes it too sharp and actually mounts his uh, trailer onto the back of the barriers. Now this is easily done um, especially when you start to get a little bit confident and you're just blasting round. As you're about to see later in this video, I make an absolute massive bobo, an absolute massive bobo. Now I thought I was going to Dover, too busy looking at this guy. I made a bobo down on the um, Euro Tunnel, and uh, I was worried that I was going to get kicked because somebody reported me for blocking. I wasn't blocking; I actually just got stuck. This poor guy, it's, it's nothing we can do. He's actually going to have to call for the services to come out, and they will tow him to somewhere that's fairly close. Um, and he'll have to pay a heavy fine for that and it could be miles and miles and miles away so he's probably going to lose a lot of money on this run a couple of trucks down here not quite sure what's going on more tractors and it looks like we've got some more tractors up here as well this really is the favorite part of my game down at the um, Dover and the ferries and everything else is really immersive because there are lots and lots of trucks down here all getting involved and all playing and if you can Happen to be on the server with some good players. It's absolutely great fun. Just wish we had the uh, Oculus Rift. It would just be the absolute tits. Absolute spunk on the tits. Anyway, so um, looks like there's lots of agriculture around here, which is where we would sh where we would be having been um, dealing with these tractors. And let's head on down. I may speed ramp this down so we can get down to Dover and see the good stuff. So 
So here we are, one of my favourite parts of the game because I think it's just really, really well modelled. Um, lots of detail, I think it must have taken them a long time to do this. Lots of different layers um, and height levels as we're coming down here. A lot of people tend to go in there, which is the no entrance. That's actually the way out for the vehicles coming out the other side. You have to go around the outside. Looks like this one's no, not this one. This one, yep, we can go down this one. I'm just going to pull down here. And we're actually going to get the truck and the trailer onto the ferry. But I'm going to do that by pulling down. So we've got a couple of trucks behind us as well. So there should be a little bit of traffic. Excuse me, should be a little bit of traffic when we get to the other end. Which is always nice. It's always nice. Different feel for the single player when there's vehicles all around. Well, let's get on here and get across to the other side. And as you're about to see, disaster strikes. Oh my god, fucking disaster. So here we are, quite a few trucks obviously coming off up near coming off the uh, the channel tunnel or the channel, whatever it's called. So there's a truck over to the left, he's bloody tunning it down here. Um, I was just going to wait and see if this other truck looks like there's a couple more trucks behind us. We're in no rush, we're in no rush. We're running low on fuel anyway, we're going to have to get some more fuel. And uh, I don't really want to damage my truck, but as you're about to see, I do a fucking right one on top of this here. I'm about to fuck up my truck and cause a little bit of a problem. So I'm just going to check left and right and get my ass around here. Look at it, really well modelled. There are trains occasionally under there. Uh, and as we come around here, you don't actually get to see a lot of the detail from being in the cab, which is why in areas like this, it's nice just to jump out and see a few more trucks coming up there in the background. Really nice. And obviously these are all the cars from the people who have been on the ferry. I don't know if any of this was based on like rough satellite footage and then they've put stuff in. And over on the right you can see other players there are going to be moving their way down on to go back across to England so obviously we need to remember now that when we come off out of here we need to be on the right hand side of the road and viva la France and all that shit right then what lane am I in here it's hard to know which lane you're in when you're uh, in this view right so we're gonna, gonna have to go left yeah I'm just gonna wait for that guy behind it's nice to go in a little convoy but uh, let's keep going anyway let's keep trucking Fantastic down here. Oculus Rift would be, yeah. You know, we keep saying, I mean, even stuff on the right there, like the damaged trailers and things. You don't get to see half of this when you're actually in the cab. There's rubbish and crates and all sorts. Really fantastically well modelled. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, we're going to go down here. Let's get our way down here. I think I might let this guy pull out first. Come on, mate. Pull out. Oh, Jesus. You know, it's a bit close, mate. Wasn't that my right of way? Maybe not. Looks like the guy on the right had a bit of a problem. And I'm about to join him. This road is bloody tight here. And as you look at the trailer at the back, you can see as I straighten up to there, I actually get the trailer stuck. And you see I've knocked this sign down as well. I actually get the trailer stuck. And that puts me into shit city a big time. Um, so I'm going to struggle it. I'm going to try and get it into drive reverse i'm gonna keep doing what i can to try and get this out of here it seems nothing's gonna help i actually forgot that you can call for services at this point with the f7 key yeah uh, so i decided to tell the admins that i'm stuck I wondered whether they'd be able to, you know, reset the trailer at the back, uh, just to make sure they weren't going to kick me or ban me for this, thinking that I was intentionally, intentionally blocking the exit from the tunnel. And it's not until Mr. Pink here comes up with his two trailers he's carrying, tells me to um, actually call for services. I'm just telling him at the bottom, I'm stuck, I'm not blocking, sorry. Yeah, because obviously this is the sort of thing that ruins it for other players. Had I been doing this intentionally, it would cause a big traffic jam and, uh, you know, potentially looking at a kick or a ban. Um, and he actually tells me what to do to get my shit back on the road so we can keep on trucking. I 
I did eventually get the services out, which I'm not going to ruin it for, but it did cost me about five and a half grand to get towed and repaired because I damaged the trailer and the wheels. And um, yeah, I think we'll bring this one to an end. Fantastic one, this one. I really love driving down at the ports, especially Europort, which I may show you online, which is just really, really busy as people going over and back and forth from Europe. I think I'll give this guy a little bit of space. Um, yeah, this is going to be part one of two as we're on our way to Cleef, which is still a fanny fair. I'm sure it's called the Cleef. <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to be part one of part two. I'm actually going to pull up around this corner, get some more fuel, get me head down, have a beer, pot of tea, little tug, dirty mag, whatever we, truckers do these days, mother truckers, have me pat lunch, and then we're going to head off back down to Queef uh, in part two. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these. I'm, I'm actually enjoying creating them, even if nobody's watching them. It's just enjoyable to create these, and this game has got a real zen feel to it. Um, even when other players run into it, it's bloody frustrating, but the game actually calms you down, and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Thanks for watching. I'm going to refill this. Get some sleep, and I shall see you in part two. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like them, and if you don't, give me some feedback, and uh, I'll see what I can do to improve them for you all. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the M62. I've been Para. Bye-bye.